All new at 10 tonight, a woman says she's lucky to be alive after being attacked by two dogs. Marissa Bowen suffered bite marks all over her body, and tonight she says she is grateful to the UTA bus driver who stopped to help. Jim Spiewak live in Kearns tonight. So where did this attack happen, Jim? So this happened right along 53rd South here in Kearns. This is the road right here where Marissa Bowen was driving. She saw two dogs almost get hit by cars on this street right here. So that's when she pulled over to help. Things took an unexpected turn. And a warning to our viewers, some people might find some of the images in this report disturbing. I saw that these two dogs, these two Rottweilers, were almost hit by a car. It was a trip home from the grocery store Marissa Bowen will never forget. She pulled over to help two dogs. Being an animal lover, I didn't want somebody to lose their dogs because that, that's heartbreaking. Marissa says they were friendly at first, then started to get more aggressive. And that's when I tried to full on walk away and um, that's when they started attacking and biting. Marissa suffered bite marks all over her body. She says she was being dragged by her hair and arms. My thought went through my head of if someone doesn't stop, I probably am going to die or be close to dying. Marissa has puncture wounds on her arm, head, hip, backside, both thighs, knee, and ankles. I remember there was a moment where the dogs were biting and I could feel them just tugging and ripping and it felt like it was never going to end. But just then Marissa heard a voice. It was a Utah Transit Authority bus driver who pulled over to help. I didn't know if I would ever get to see or hug or kiss my little boy again. The bus driver got the wounded Marissa into the bus and UTA will honor that driver tomorrow where Marissa will get to thank him again. That he not only saved my life, but he impacted my family's life. So what started with Marissa trying to help ended with her needing to be saved. It's an ironic situation because I was, I was just trying to help. Now, I reached out to Salt Lake County Animal Services about this attack. They confirmed with me that there is an ongoing open investigation, but that the dog's owners were found and that they are cooperating. But part of this investigation is looking into a couple things. Number one, if there's going to be any fines for the dog owners, and also they're looking into if there's going to be any uh, criminal charges and if they're necessary. We're live in Kearns tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News. So glad she had a hero in that bus driver. As Jim mentioned, that driver who rescued Marissa will be honored tomorrow. His name is Nick Pappas. It'll happen during the UTA 9 a.m. board meeting, and Marissa will be there.